Hello guys, once again, welcome to my channel ENEB English. This is Muhammad Yusuf, lecturer at the Balgumari College. Today we are going to discuss another poem uh, from class 12 English literature book, The Heritage of War. Uh, and we are going to discuss the poem Traveling Through the Dark. Okay, now let's discuss this poem. Uh, this poem basically describes the two realities of human life. One is the responsibilities and the efficiency and in the another sense and another part there is human emotions and that overcomes the human responsibilities. Now uh, and the another thing that the poem discusses is between the natural life between the uh, tension, the clash of natural environment, the natural world with the uh, modernized life of technology, the clash between technology and wilderness. These things have been discussed in this poem. Now let's discuss this poem. Traveling through the dark, I found a deer dead on the edge of the Wilson River Road. It is usually best to roll them into the canyon. That road is narrow to swerve might make more dead. In this first stanza, the poet is traveling somewhere. He is going through uh, the way in his car and basically this is one of the real events that has happened to the poet and he, he has presented this incident in his poetry and uh, where he has shared his experience that he has been going into the car um, somewhere inside his car and what he found that uh, he is on the road and he has made a sketch of the scenery what is there a scene he has presented there he is on the road one side there is a hill and the another side there is a, a there is the river wilson river and the road is narrow and there is some kind of turning and uh, the road is such a narrow that only a vehicle could pass from there and uh, it isn't wide enough that uh, the two vehicles could move around so he has presented somehow uh, imaginary skill uh, uh, scene in uh, in the reader's mind and he says that he is driving there and what he found that uh, suddenly he found a dead animal there and when he goes there uh, he uh, he stops his car and uh, he found he finds out uh, a dead animal uh, probably some another car might have hit it and uh, it has uh, killed him, that animal so he uh, according, according to his rational he finds that the uh, animal is dead because of some accident that it has met earlier and uh, uh, conclusively he comes uh, it comes to his mind that it is best to roll that animal uh, to move aside of that road so that uh, it the, it could disturb the another vehicle and when some other vehicle if they don't care that is an animal it, they, it may bring much more accidents so better to prevent those accident he thinks in his mind that it is better it will be best if i push it away from the road so that the road will be clearer and there no more any potential accidents could be prevailed. So this is what comes in the mind at first when he encounters when he sees that dead animal on the road of the uh, on the edge of Wilson River. Now let's go to the second stanza what is discussed there. Uh, by glow of the tail light I stumbled back of the car and stood by the heap, a doe, a recent killing. She had stiffened already, almost cold. I dragged her off, she was large in the belly. Now the poet describes uh, the real situation, what is happening there. He says that uh, when he moved ahead, he saw the animal in the side of the road. He stops the car and by the glow of the back light, the tail light, uh, he saw he, he saw the animal the dead animal and he stumbles 
uh, back of the car he gets of the car out of the car and stood near goes near the, that dead animal and there was a he a, uh, and stood by the heap the heap means uh, uh, the dead animal uh, a doe a doe means the deer uh, animal uh, the, like uh, a deer or some kind of those uh, wild animals that frequently comes to the road and again in the comma what he says further a recent killing it means that uh, the accident has happened just recently and not long time ago and uh, he goes near it and he finds she had Stephen already what he says that Stephen means to become cold and to become very tight because whenever some um, living thing dies it gets um, very tight after the animal dies so she had Stephen already almost cold I dragged her off now as in the f first time it had comes to, it has come to his mind that he should drag off so he, when he goes there he touches the body and tries to dra drag that animal off to the road he, what he finds that she was large in the belly he finds that it means that her belly was large it means that uh, she was pregnant and uh, the small uh, her baby unborn baby of that animal was inside the womb of that dead animal and now let's come to the thir third stanza and now what comes there my fingers touching her side brought me the reason my fingers he says that when I touched her uh, at the side it means the belly brought me the reason and now it has uh, now he comes to the real point what is what had what's going on there that her side was warm her belly her, the side means the belly the side of the animal basically has but uh, those she has she uh, the animal had stiffened already almost cold and because it has died uh, already uh, but what was the, the another thing that's uh, con conversely at the same moment is that her belly was warm and and uh, her fawn lay there waiting fawn means the small baby the unwarm baby of the animal uh, dead dead animal she is, uh, she, uh, the poet says that uh, she is uh, large she was, she was large in the belly she was pregnant and uh, but uh, the dilemma is that she couldn't uh, burn that small baby uh, the small fawn was there alive <laughs> still never to be born okay beside that mountain road I hesitated now he comes to a very uh, critical situation very confusing situation the poet is there in a, in, in a dilemma that uh, what now I could do the animal is dead but there is a life inside the dead animal there is a unborn baby inside the womb who is waiting to be born to see the lie to see to come to this world but uh, uh, it but sadly the car aimed ahead its lowered parking lights. Under the hood purred the steady engine. I stood in the glare of the warm exhaust turning red. Around our group I could hear the wilderness listen. Now at this point, uh, this is the crisis point and this is the point of climax. Now uh, even to the reader as well as the poet, uh, as the speaker, and th this is the point of climax that now here comes a pivotal situation that what will now happen what will the uh, speaker do it, even it comes to the mind of the reader that what is going to happen next so this is uh, now here the two things uh, clash one is the technology and the other the wilderness the natural life uh, here uh, what you say the car aimed ahead its lower parking lights the car uh, the car has been personified as uh, a uh, a means of technology and under the hood per the steady engine that uh, the uh, the speaker wants to move ahead he mo wants to move uh, further he wants to go somewhere and uh, at the same time uh, he is in the dilemma and confusion what else can he do that either he could chop that animal's worm and take out that farm or just simply push that door and let the road be empty he is in the dilemma and I stood in the glare of the warm exhausting 
exhaust turning red and around our group I could hear the wilderness listen. Now here he is in the confusion that he has been explaining there. I thought hard for us all, my only swerving, then pushed her over the edge into the river. Now he comes to the conclusion finally that it is better to push, it is better to uh, remove that animal out of that uh, place after out of that road so that no more pertain no more uh, potential accident could occur there just because of a dead animal so his rational has made him to think that it is better to push that animal so uh, now this is the uh, summary now let's describe this point in Nepali our Nepali traveling through the dark uh, title is to see the clip is that for Isara Gurdesa he could manage Yatra Gurdesa Costo Augusta Costo Mahol Mata or the aroma about something we keep Nike Simco Anuba Naya mysterious experience or Lucia Udesa Vene Kuluja Utsuta readers ma Atava Pataka Vajagna Sadasa our Yukavita यो एउटा तथ्य घटनामा आधारित कविता हो जुन कविले आफैले भोगेको अनुभवलाई सँगालेर एउटा कविताको रूपमा उनले यसलाई पेश गरेका छन् स्टेफर्ड विलियम्स विलियम स्टेफर्ड अमेरिकी कवि हुन् उनले रचेका कविता ट्राभलिंग थ्रु द डार्क हो नेपाली समरी नेपाली व्याख्या हामी गर्दै छौं So when the Pilo Pilo Stanza go by Matosagro Traveling through the dark, I found a deer dead on the edge of the Wilson River. It is usually best to roll them into the canyon. That road is narrow to swear my may more dead. Uliki Grasso Kavi Jalison, Roadma Adiaroma, Garizalar Jalison, Prada Mahal Uliba and Kitakas and your scene when I go on Pilo Stanza, he Uni Egra Adiaro. रोडमा एक तिर एक तिर उनी अध्यारोमा जाँदै छन् एकदम साङ्गुरो रोड छ एक तिर नदी छ खोज छ तर त्यो जाँदा खेरि यति साङ्गुरो रोडमा के के देख्छन् त एक तिर एउटा जनावर मरेको देख्छन् अनि अगाडि के गर्छन् उनले जाँदा जाँदै गाडी रोक्छन् त्यहाँ नेर अनि त्यहाँ गएर जस्ट झट्टै हेर्दा खेरि के चीज के थुप्रो लागेको जस्तो देख्छन् उनले एउटा मरेको जानो जनावर जस्तो देख्छन् अब उनलाई के लाग्छ त ओहो यसलाई त हटाउनु पर्छ नत्र यदि साङ्गो रोडमा फेरि अरु कसै कुनै गाडी आउँदा खेरि अनजानमा नदेखिएको खण्डमा के गर्न सक्दछ त त्यहाँ अर्को एक्सिडेन्ट हुन सक्छ स्वयम भन्दाले गाडी चिप्लिन सक्छ एक्सिडेन्ट हुन सक्छ त्यो एक्सिडेन्ट बडा जोगाउनको लागि के गर्न पर्यो त यसलाई अलिकति पन्साइ दिनु पर्यो अलि साइड लाइन पर्यो यसलाई अलि धकालेर तल नदीमा खसाइ दिनु पर्यो भनेर उनले गाडी रोक्छन् अनि के छ त अर्को स्टेन्ड जमा हेरौ बाइ ग्लो अफ द टेल लाइट आई स्टम्बल ब्याक अफ द कार एन्ड स्टुड बाइ द हिप अ डो अ रिसेंट किलिंग अब उनले गाडी रोके अलिकति अगाडि बढिसकेका थिए गाडी त्यहाँ नेर रोके पछाडीको टेल लाइट गाडीको टेल लाइट ले के गर्यो त त्यसको उज्यालो त्यसको प्रकाश ले के देखे त त्यहाँ एउटा जनावर देखे मरेको अनि के गरे अ उनी गाडीबाट उल्लेर त्यहाँ पुगे एन्ड स्टुड बाइ द हिप हिप भनेको त्यो थुप्रो मरेको जनावरको अ डो एउटा हरिण अ रिसेंट किलिंग रिसेंट मिन्स भखरै मारिएको थियो भखरै एक्सिडेन्ट भएर त्यो मृत अवस्थामा त्यहाँ नेर रहिरहेको थियो शी ह्याड स्टीफन अलरेडी स्टीफन भनेको अ मरेपछि त्यो टाइट हुनु एकदम चीसो भइसक्नु अलमोस्ट कोल्ड आई ड्र्याग्ड हर अफ शी वाज लार्ज इन द बेली अब ड्र्याग उले वाज गिसारेर त्यसलाई फाल्दिन खोज्दै थियो अनि के महसुस गरे त उसको पेट एकदमै उसको गर्भ एकदमै ठुलो उसको पेट ठुलो भएको उसले महसुस गरे अब थर्ड स्टेन्डमा हेरौ माइ फिंगर्स टचड माइ फिंगर्स टचिङ हर साइड ब्रट मी द रिजन हर साइड वाज वार्म हर फोन डे देयर वेटिङ जब उसले उसको त्यो जनावरको पेटमा हात राखेर धकाल्न घिसार्न खोज्दै थियो धकालेर फाल्न खोज्दै थियो उसले त के गरेर थियो उसको त्यो बेली ठुलो आकारको भएको महसुस गर्यो र पुरै जिउ 
चीसो भैस अरठी सके के थी तो उसको पेट बनाई अल अज्ञा न्यानो अज्ञा तातो थी उसको अज्ञा में गर्माहट थी अभी के उसे महसूस गयो त्या सो नजन्म नजन्म जन्म सकते सान बच्चा तो जानवर को रही रहे थे के हर साइड वाज वन हर फोन ले देर वेटिंग त्या कुरे बस उसको नजन्म सकते बच्चा अलाइव स्टील नेवर टू बी बर्न जिंद थी अल्लेम तर कहीं नजन्मिने भाग्य लगे कहीं नजन्मिने गरी तर जिंद थी कस्तो एटा मरे को जानवर भि ए जीव एटा मरे को डेड अब्जेक्ट भिटो लिविंग अब्जेक्ट बिसाइड दैट माउंटेन रोड आई हेसिटेड अब यो सुनसान अंधारो एक्ल अब इस अकमकी हो कि हेसिटेटेड द कार एंड अ हेड इट्स लोअर पार्किंग लाइट अंडर द हुड पर्ड द स्टील इंजिन अब यो यहाँ पुगे तो सीन तो एट क्राइसिस पॉइंट में एट क्लाइमेक्स में पुगे इंसिडेन्ट कि अब के अब के अब स्पीकर ने अब अगड़ी को घटना कस्त होने सब को मन में खुलदुरी पैदा होने क्राइसि पॉइंट में पुराया स्टोरी लाइन के अगड़ी आई स्टूड इन द क्लियर अफ द वन एक्जस्टिंग टर्न इन रेड एराउंड वन ग्रुप आई कुड हियर द विल्डरनेस लेसन और अब तैर को अनकंडार अवस्था में अब मैं के उनके रेसनलाइजेसन कर उनके अपने दिमाग लगाए अब मेरे जिम्मेवारी के हो तब मैं के करूँ त आइदर कि मैं इस चिरे उसको भि को तो जिंद रह बच्चा बाहर निलूँ कि इस अब धक्का लेकर तल खसा रोड सफा कर दूँ बाटो खाली कर दूँ भाई दोधार पर्न पुगे आई थट हार्ड फर अस अल माई ओनली स्वेबिंग देन पुस्ट हर ओवर द एज इन टू द रिवर उसने धेरे नई सोचना पुगे उनके रेस पीछे के करे तो है इस तल खसाल दिन में नहीं बेस होने उनके निष्कर्ष निले उस तल धकेली दिए इसमें दुईटा चीज को बारे में कविता में चर्चा कर मोडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी अलग को आधुनिक प्रविधि रो टकराव को सित प्राकृतिक जीवनसंग को टकराव रो ए प्राकृतिक जीवन को के लिए सीम्बलाइज कर जंगली जानवर के जो एटा रोड में आपने अवस्था हिड़ी रखे थी टेक्नोलॉजिकल डेवलपमेंट को कारण प्राविधिक विस को कारण तो स्पीड को गाड़ी लगा उस ठोकी दिए उस मारिद थी तैं एट चीज को बारे में तो दुईटा को क्लैश को बारे में चर्चा कर चीज के चीज को चर्चा कर ह्यूमन रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी को ह्यूमन रेस्पोन्सिबिलिटी अर्थात मानव जिम्मेवारी को कुरो संगसंग मानव संवेग मानव इमोशन्स को बारे में कि कसरी संवेग ने मानस को जिम्मेवारी काद राख्द अथवा उसको जिम्मेवारी उसको संवेग में कसरी हावी होद भूरा को इसमें चर्चा कर इसी नई यो कविता में हम अंत्य नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द क्वेश्चंस दैट मे कम इन द एग्जाम एंड द की पॉइंट्स ऑफ दिस पॉइंट थैंक यू